The treatment for breast cancer is multifaceted. It often involves surgery, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, as well as radiotherapy. These treatments form the frontline defense aiming to eradicate cancerous cells. Yet, despite their effectiveness, the worry of recurrence is understandable. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha, here to help you navigate the world of health in general and breast cancer specifically. Let's uncover the reasons behind why breast cancer can still come back even after treatment has ended and sometimes, although rarely, whilst treatment for that breast cancer is still being undertaken. The cornerstone of treatment often begins with surgery. Mastectomy or lumpectomy involves removing the cancerous tissue, aiming to eliminate the visible tumour and potentially any nearby affected lymph nodes. The aim of surgery is for complete removal, aiming to reduce the chance of the cancer coming back or chance of recurrence. These treatments are systemic treatments using drugs that is designed to reach cancer cells throughout the body. The aim of treatment is to eradicate cancer cells that may be circulating throughout the body, targeting any potential microscopic spread or residual cells. These drugs can be administered before or after surgery and is ultimately given to reduce the risk of recurrence by attacking cancer at a cellular level. Radiotherapy, which is commonly given after surgery, involves the use of high energy radiation beams to destroy any remaining cancer cells in the treated area. It is localized treatment aiming to reduce the likelihood of local recurrence by targeting specific areas where cancer was present. However, despite these very modern treatment techniques, why is breast cancer recurrence still a possibility? Here are the reasons. Before surgery, cancer cells might have already spread beyond the visible tumour, but remain undetectable by imaging tests. These cells can lurk elsewhere in the body, including nearby lymph nodes or even in distant organs. These can later grow and cause recurrence. cancer has reached the lymph nodes, there is a higher chance of residual cancer cells lingering in the lymphatic system, potentially causing recurrence. Some cancer cells possess adaptive mechanisms allowing them to survive chemotherapy or radiation. These cells might not respond to initial treatment and could lead to a recurrence later on. Some cancer cells might remain dormant for years after treatment, evading detection and remaining inactive until they start growing again, leading to a recurrence. In certain cases, treatment might not be able to completely eradicate all cancer cells. Factors like the type and stage of cancer, as well as individual variations, can impact treatment effectiveness. Cancer cells have the ability to mutate over time, developing resistance to previously effective treatments. These mutations can enable them to survive and thrive, leading to a recurrence. This depends really on where the recurrence is, whether that's a local recurrence or distant recurrence. If the recurrence is local, then surgical intervention is usually what we recommend to remove the tumour. If the cancer has spread to other parts of the body, then drug treatment in the form of chemotherapy, anti-hormone tablet treatment or endocrine treatment, and immunotherapy are used to target cancer cells in different parts of the body. Clinical trials can also offer innovative treatments, improving potential outcomes for recurrent breast cancer. Knowing the signs of recurrence is key, and I will leave the link of a video I have made specifically explaining the signs you need to look out for. I will see you in the next one.